All right, everyone, and welcome back to the channel, or welcome if you're new here. I'm Christina, aka That Variety Nerd, and today we're back with another My Faction update video type thing. Y'all seem to really like it and found this information useful because somebody's got to go through this mode, right? And that somebody's going to be me. <laughs> Plus, I just have fun playing through this mode. It gets me a couple matches in a day or whatever, and I, I just, I enjoy it. I like the little rewards that it keeps giving me as we established in the first episode. Now, we're not going to spend a ton of time like going through all the nooks and crannies, um, but I'm going to give you all my sort of roadmap as to what's going on here, and kind of like the updates from the last video, uh, things to be accomplished and that sort of thing. So grab your snacks, grab your choice beverage, get comfy and cozy, and let's get to it. So weekly towers, not much progress. Uh, we, we slightly went up, I think, in this one. That or it stayed the same. Uh, I'm kind of working on this, on this one slowly but surely. Uh, this one's just going to happen when it happens, because you can't control when you get these Evolve cards. You just can't. Um, Diamond Seeker, we're kind of slowly but surely trying to get our first Diamond card. Uh, and I'll show you all where we're going in just a moment. But this one's the big one for sure that we've been working on. Has just been going through more of these matches, and you'll see how and why in a few moments as well. Uh, but last episode, uh, we were at, which was really last week... Uh, we were at 57,000. I triple checked this before I started recording this, but we went all the way up here to uh, 69,000 out of 100,000 uh, points and matches cumul cumulatively all together. Uh, equip a diamond superstar of four side plates and the diamond contract and the live events one. The live events one, uh, we got this one uh, since last time as well. And over here, we're on our way towards 100 live event wins, which is exciting. Speaking of live events, uh, we're going to kind of walk you through kind of what the plan is. So we're not going to go through this one. We don't have the card. Uh, this one we went through to get the Amethyst Gunther. That'll, that'll come into play in just a moment. This one, uh, we've got five out of seven matches completed over here. It's a like eight woman elimination match. Which, you know, we've been building up our women's roster slowly but surely with the Amethyst Market, which has been a huge help. Uh, I completed these four matches today, actually. I was like, well, it's kind of, you know, early in the afternoon. I'm just going to go ahead and chill. I got my walk-in this morning. And I'm going to play this a few times. And I got the Shawn Michaels card that we will need for this match, which we will play through together. Uh, I already completed one of these matches, but I'm going to go through at least one with you all as well. So in total, there are seven total times you have to go through this, this match in particular with the 2005 Shawn Michaels. And those are all the rewards that you can get. And then over here, we've got these interesting... Uh, live events coming up. Oh, and then this one also has an extra stipulation in there, and we'll touch base on that in just a moment. Uh, we have the Shawn Michaels birthday bash. Uh, we've got all these different rewards over here. Uh, plenty of Amethyst cards at our disposal now, which is great. Uh, same thing with the Triple H one. I think they have very similar... Yeah, I think they got the same rewards, but you know that'll only help you out because those packs can get pretty expensive with the coins and stuff or the points or whatever. Uh, the only card we don't have for this one is the Kofi Kingston card because we didn't have the blue Xavier card for the one match. Um, otherwise, we would have had uh, Diamond Rhea Ripley, but we have the Amethyst Gunther card for this last Fatal 4-Way. So sometime, probably, I think this would be, what, next weekend or something like that, uh, we'll have Diamond Gunther. So we'll have our first Diamond card within about a week or so, which is quite exciting. Um, so there's kind of the plan, uh, and then we're going to dive into my faction, because this is where we also made quite a bit of progress as well. Last time when I showed you all this screen, we were at 84 wins, we're at 99 total wins, uh, which means that we're going to do 100 together, which is exciting. And you get a little Xbox achievement or PlayStation trophy. Didn't really make much progress on Proving Grounds or Weekly Towers. Collector level, we went up to level 12. We were at 11 last week. Uh, we got some more of these... Uh, Amethyst Rewards, we now have Alexa Bliss, Carmella, JD McDonough, Liv Morgan, LA Knight, Zoe Stark, and Tyler Bate. So we're halfway to unlocking the eventual diamond card market, which is kind of exciting. And so without further ado, I say let's kind of jump into uh, the live event. We might play through this at least. We're going to play through this once because it just doesn't make sense for me to play the same match over and over again with y'all. And then we'll dive into some My Faction goodness to kind of close out this little video. Again, these videos are going to be very short, sweet, and to the point, little updates for y'all 
I don't know if I'm going to do this every single week, but I have fun putting these together because it's a quick video and I enjoy playing my faction throughout the week. And it holds me accountable too. I'm like, I need to get all the rewards, I swear. <laughs> but either way, we're going to go through this one. This one has a stipulation attached to it, so we're going to roll with it. Now, I don't know if this is, I think it says Encore event because it looks like it happened beforehand, I believe. I could be entirely wrong, but here we are. We're going to go through it together again. Reminder on the rewards that we have, not too bad. Uh, and so let's just move ahead. And so uh, here's the current faction lineup, by the way. Uh, we obviously will be swapping out Shawn Michaels when we go over to do the, uh, eh, I don't know, maybe we will, maybe we won't. We'll probably throw in another Amethyst card when we go over to do the my faction stuff. But either way, let's dive right into it. You can kind of see match objective, perform one sweet chin music two finisher, uh, 45 points, pinfaller submission, pretty self-explanatory. Let's do this, people. Alrighty, people. Oh, God, here we go. Okay. Ooh, okay. I was checking something, and lo and behold, here we are. Uh, that's okay. We're Shawn Michaels from 2005. I think we're, we're, I think we're fine. I remember, like, that was, that was actually one of the first matches I remember watching from Monday Night Raw was the Shawn Michaels and Shelton Benjamin match where they had that, like, famous, like, super kick and, like, Shelton was in the air and everything. If You probably have seen it by this point, but if not, it's really cool to watch. Like, you know, for 2005 standards, like, and even by today's standards, it's still kind of cool to watch just because it's, like, the crowd's all into it and, like, you know, we've all got to start somewhere, right? Right. But yeah, 2005 was around the time that I was getting really into it. Like, I started on and off watching around 2004, but I was getting really into it by 2005. So, yeah, that's kind of how I got into the wrestling fandom. Around 2005 or so, but, you know, we would kind of watch here and there in 2004. But, yeah, I think we got into a very interesting... I think we got started at a very interesting point with WWE, and, like, that was also when... Impact was starting to get a TV deal and really make, like, you know, some waves and stuff like that. Impact being TNA at the time, of course. And so that was on Thursday night, and then we had SmackDown, and so we had a little bit of wrestling going on. It was enough to satiate my appetite, and, you know, we were all excited. We, we would order the little, like, TNA pay-per-views and stuff like that once a month, I think they were. Those things were good. I'm glad that they're, like, you know uploading them in full now, which is kind of exciting. I, I go back and I just put some on in the background every once in a while if I see something that seems interesting. So, it, it, it brings back the memories. I know we're kind of going off the rails a little bit, but there you go. And I don't know, I'm having fun just kind of filming these, just, you know, more impromptu. Like, here's what I accomplished in the meantime on this game. Because, like, I am so burned out of universe mode. I We might have a chit-chat kind of video about that at a later point. I don't know. Or, like, a real talk video. But, like, I'm so burned out of universe mode, and universe mode ain't working for me, right? Like, it, it, it it's... It's kind of broken this year. I don't know if that's the word I want to use. But, like... Yeah, I don't know. I, I, it's not the word I want to use. It just it ain't meshing with me this year. Which is interesting, because we get more customizability, but it's only, like, to a certain extent. It's not as nuanced as it could or should be. Beautiful chop right there from Shawn Michaels. But yeah, you can kind of get a feel for, like, just how quick some of these can go if you just sit down and kind of go through it. Oh! See, there we go. He used the power-up thing, or the... Yeah, he used the... Thing. See, there you go. Perform one sweet chin music finisher. Shelton's done. And there you go. See, like, something like this I don't mind going through if I know it's just going to be something quick that we can just tackle, right? But, like, I'm not going to put y'all through everything. That just is not cool. <laughs> I'm not going to put you through all the times that we're going to be playing through it and stuff like that. If we have time, like, we could go through and do the goat <laughs> challenge thing so that way I can push through it, but... But the more important thing is going to be more or less that my faction win, because we're going to hit one, 100 wins today, which is exciting. 
like it kind of comes in waves like some weeks I'll do more like proving ground stuff some days I do more like live event stuff some weeks I do more my faction stuff but we did the thing people we did the thing we have won the match we need to see what reward we get uh, but you can see everything's adding up we got 57 wins out of 100 we're slowly but surely getting there with the uh, points in every match and that kind of thing. Like, some of these just kind of build with each other along the way. And so I'm like, that's fine. I feel better just doing that. <laughs> Alrighty, here we go. Alright, we got an extra 500 points. So we have the Tier 3 rewards uh, completed from what it looks like. So we get the cards and extra uh, points coming up very soon and of course the Shelton Benjamin card so that's very exciting alrighty so we're not gonna go through the rest of the rewards for that one which would put us through another five matches on this video uh, but we are gonna go through uh, the faction wars and we're gonna go through a faction wars match I keep wanting to say my faction because it's kind of what it is at the same time right uh, but we're in we're about to cross uh, win 100 which is kind of exciting I kind of held off on this one because I'm like I gotta show everybody because you also get an achievement I believe on this one as well uh, so there's that but you get some cool rewards as you kind of move up and it takes a few more wins in between but you get some pretty decent rewards I would think along the way right right and plus you get like little rewards with the briefcase rewards too even if you already have the cards you still get the little points and stuff like that and that can go towards all kinds of stuff but mostly the different cards and whatnot but we're gonna we're gonna go through uh, this lovely uh, my faction win 100 and we'll go from there now we're gonna go ahead and swap out Shawn Michaels 2005 over here we're gonna swap him out with well we got Sami Zayn we could get um JD McDonough back which was probably the best move I think for now uh, he's been very helpful in my faction so we're gonna go ahead and get some contracts for him we, we kind of upped up everybody's contracts across the board so We'll give him like two of these gold ones here all the contracts that we have the diamond ones give you like pretty much unlimited like contracts which is kind of nice uh, but the amethyst and ruby like all these are fine so I mean you can we've, we've got a ton of these things so we're gonna be more than okay uh, so that's the men's division that's the women's division side of things for right now uh, so yeah, let's keep things moving along and just dive right into my faction over here let's go for win 100 that works with me. We've got Umberto, Dominic Mysterio, Jim the Anvil Neidhart, and Shinsuke Nakamura. Now, I'm one of those people that I just try to get in and get out for a lot of these matches. Like, that's just how I roll at this point. But here we are. Stinking up the joint right away is LA Knight. Alright, there goes like half of our faction. God, Umberto's doing some damage here. There we go. I mean, we got essentially one of everybody in terms of like the different like s styles and stuff. The not the face chant. That's funny. Beautiful clothesline right there. And see what happens with LA Knight is once you do two taunts, you automatically get a finisher. So that's why we just keep him on our roster. <laughs> that's just what's going on here. Oh my goodness gracious. But I hope everyone's enjoying the My Faction updates. Like, they've also got some different cards too ahead of SummerSlam. They always do that. They always introduce a new, like, pack or two before um, the next uh, premium live event and that kind of thing. I just can't be bothered with it because I'm like, we're just going through all the live event things and all the My Faction things and whatever else we have on our docket, right? Right. Oh, counter from Umberto. Oh, we'll wait until you're not looking too great. Oh boy. Okay, that was terrible. The targeting sometimes gets a little funky in these matches, so just to give you all a bit of a heads up if you've never played through this before, it gets a little funky, but I feel like, I feel like many of y'all may have played like, you know, some tag team matches at some point. The targeting can get a little weird. That's just how that's just how it goes apparently around here. In a good old my faction. Now 
see, like, LA Knight is one of the better people to play here because he just gets a lot of offense in and does a lot of damage very quickly. Uh, like Shinsuke. Shinsuke just got a lot of damage in very quickly on us. And this is, this is the strategy. You just take down everybody. Okay. Well, maybe it's not working right now, but it, it typically works. <laughs> we have a plan! We usually do, anyway. Well, we'll wait for the stamina to go up. Because we, we need the stamina, right? Right. Beautiful. Gotta take down Dirty Dan, Dominic Mysterio. <laughs> if you watched our NXT reaction, you know! <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, see what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm trying to target Dominic right here, and it just, it ain't working, fam. Okay, well that seemed to work, which, that's, that's fine with me. Okay, Shinsuke, he's just not looking great now. Alright, keep going, thank you. All right, the drop kick wins. Beautiful. Okay, go 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 go. Ah, oh, crap. All right, this is where we're gonna have to tag out, I think. All right, we got JD in the match now. What a weird group. Like, I feel like on both sides, but especially our side. What a weird group. But I mean, it works, right? See, JD's already got like a signature ready to go, and that works with me. All right here we go. Beautiful. And see, since we got a new person in here, it kind of helps us out with those. Oh, come on, Shinsuke. Seriously? Oh, crap. We're fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Thanks, Gunther. We appreciate you. We don't appreciate Umberto now. See what I mean? Sometimes it can go very quickly or it can get a little bit more dragged out, but that's kind of the fun part about it. We're at win 100. We're gonna hit 100 wins. I know it. I feel it. I can smell it. I can sense it. We just gotta spam the crap out of moves and just stay on Umberto. There's no other way around it. Beautiful counter. Beautiful counter. Keep going. Keep going. Beautiful. I do a lot of this stuff typically, like, if I have a free morning or if I have, like, an hour or two in the afternoon. So that's kind of what's been happening. At least during, like, the time, well, that we've been unemployed around here. You gotta break up. You gotta break things up. You, you just have to. Alright, JD. Go, go, go! Go, 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 go! Come on, come on, come on, come on. I know he's got the thing. Sometimes they don't use the thing. Which is fine, because we got win 100 people. We got 100 wins in my faction. <laughs> Sometimes, this is literally what happens. You just use a couple different people and you're good to go. And so, yeah, that's what happened. It's like, what a weird group of, like, you know, what a weird faction. We've, we've adjusted our sales slightly, but that's to reflect the Amethyst cards, because that's what we're here for. I love how we're getting booed out of the building. There's no shame in that at this point. See, there it goes. Faction Wars Champion. Win 100 Faction Wars matches my faction. So that's how you do it. You go through this 100 matches. I mean, to be fair, the game did come out, what, four months ago? So, I mean, that's about 25 matches a month, right? Roughly speaking. But to be fair, most of this was probably done in the last month or two. It's been hot here, people. It's been really hot. <laughs> it's been hot with the air quality stuff, and it's just going to get worse next week. So, uh, don't be surprised if I'm just here, like, yeah, I'm just here with my Xbox. And we got another update, like, Thursday, Friday next week. D don't be surprised. 
But here we go, people. We've got close to 70,000 out of 100,000 uh, points and matches, which is quite exciting. We got 25 of those tokens, which, like, if you kind of go up, like, through the My Faction stuff over time, or the Faction War stuff, I keep calling it My Faction, but if you go through the Faction War stuff and you do the daily challenges, like, you could probably get that, like, over 30 probably or so, and then that's when you could get some more, uh, you know, the token market stuff, and that sort of thing. So it ultimately all adds up somehow. That's the name of the game. Alrighty, briefcase rewards. Let's go over here. 2,000! We got 2,000 points! Oh, I love that for me. Perfect, okay, 2,000, 2,300 points from one match. Like, all this stuff does add up. That's that's what I'm saying. So we got 12,000 points. I say let's go and take a look at what we could probably get. Honestly, we could probably get a lot of these. I've been trying to go back and forth between the This Is Awesome and Phenomenal packs, but I think we could probably do uh, one of these Backlash packs, potentially. I think that would work. That way we get some more cards and we build up our collection quite a bit. We could always go with one of these Summer Heat series packs. You know what? Let's do it. Let's get one of the Summer Heat ones because we, we're guaranteed something. <laughs> we're guaranteed new cards. Let's do it. Open now. Ooh, we got an Abathus card. Look at that. Right out of the gate. Let's see what we got here. Okay, we got an Ultimate Warrior card. That's cool. I like the design on the cards, by the way. Uh, we got a nameplate, wallpaper, side plate, and a contract. So I think this turned out pretty okay. And so as you can see here, we got four cards until the next collector's level, which again, that's the Seth Rollins card. And then in my faction, uh, the next reward is after this next win at 101, and we get 2,100 points out of this one. So between that and the live event stuff, we're going to be fine. We're, we're going to have plenty to keep our eyeballs on and sinking our teeth into and that kind of thing. I'm like, where am I going with this? <laughs> but you, you can, you can kind of see where we're going. So after, so this will be the next live event that I go after for sure because there's seven different matches and we have all these Amethyst cards at our disposal now, which is very exciting. Uh, I think we're at like eight to ten now, which is kind of great because that way you get a nice little rotation involved with those live events. So that way you kind of keep it fresh. Uh, but either way around, let me know what y'all thought about my faction this week. I had a blast per usual, and I hope this is helpful. Maybe you know, leave some tips or you know, how your My Faction stuff is all going. And yeah, so leave a comment down below if you want to see more of this, if you found this helpful, etc. And I will see you all in the next one.